hi guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica and today i'm gonna give you a tour of my updated vanity slash filming station i haven't done a tour kind of of this area since i did rearrange everything earlier this year i rearranged everything because i now have this lighting setup so i have some umbrella lights and i needed to make room for them to fit because as you can see i am in an attic <laughs> and the walls are slanted. So I thought it would be fun to actually go through and just give you a quick tour of what I keep on my vanity and my filming setup along with the lights and everything. So let's go ahead and jump in. Let's talk about the furniture first. I will try to link this all down below if I can, but all of this white furniture right here is from Ikea, except for this little drawer set down here. I got that at Home Goods. So the desk is from Ikea, this little Alex drawer is from Ikea. This is actually like a bookshelf behind where I have my ring light attached to. I'll show that in detail a little bit later, but that is also from Ikea. And the chair, the black chair, also from Ikea. <laughs> So let's talk about the lighting setup real quick. So I did purchase this umbrella kit from Amazon. So it came with these two umbrella lights right here. And also this little light down here. So I don't have any of them on. It also came with the light bulb. So that's what that little light looks like. And this is what I keep behind, directly behind me when I'm filming. It makes one of the biggest differences when it's like pitch black and I'm filming. You really do need a light behind you to light up your background otherwise it's going to look a bit nuts. So I really think this lighting set has made the biggest difference. It was around $50, 50 to $60 on Amazon and it's been great quality so far. So I have those two umbrella lights. Whenever I'm not using them I just take off the umbrella portion and I leave the tripods with the light on and I leave, I don't leave it on, but I leave those just to the side and I just take off the umbrella. So let me just do that real quick. So as you can see right here, you've got the light. So there's this little twisty turny that keeps the umbrella in place. And once you loosen that, it'll come right out. Once the umbrella is out, I just close it. And this actually gets stored in a bag under my bed. And then when I'm not filming, I just leave it off to the side like this. It's really convenient to be able to have just everything kind of set up already. And then all I have to do when I want to film is pull out the umbrellas and set them up with the lights. A three-point lighting system when you're in a room like this really is best. So I have an umbrella light there, an umbrella light there, and then I have my ring light. So this is actually attached to this little bookshelf thing back here and I just have it on like a velcro kind of uh, what is it called command strip let me pull it down real quick all right so as you can see this is the bookshelf that it's sitting on so I've got like a little project pan over here I've got some lipsticks I'm working on. I have a couple of palettes. These are all of my face brushes up here. This is where I keep my mic when I'm not using it. I'll have this mic linked down below. I actually bought it at Best Buy. It's a pretty good mic. I really like it and it's really improved the quality of my videos a lot. I have my brush cleaning supplies right here. I have all of my eye brushes and then I have like a miscellaneous kind of mason jar where I keep my like makeup squeegee spatula to get all the makeup out. I keep a little toothbrush that I use just for my cuticles <laughs> and some nail care supplies back there as well. But for the ring light, so you can see these are some Velcro pads that I have attached. I just took some of my favorite packaging from makeup to decorate the inside part <laughs> of where the ring light sits. So these are from the Kylie Halloween palette. This is from the ABH Dream Glow Kit. This was from a, a Colourpop order where they put that in, and this is also from the Kylie release. They sent you these to go with the packaging. So as you can see, the Velcro just holds the ring light in place, and then I have a little button down here to actually turn it on. This was the best option for me in my setup because I really couldn't keep the ring light on a tripod because normally you just put the camera like right here 
on a little attachment and have it on right there. I couldn't do that with my ceilings because you see these are like super low. So I needed to find a way to hold it up and then I just put a tripod in front of this with my camera on it. So this is what my actual filming setup will look like. I have my microphone right here. It'll be plugged in to my MacBook and I record the audio there. The camera I'm filming on will go right here on the tripod and it will be right in front of the ring light. I also have both the umbrella lights on. So that's how I've improved my filming setup right here. Behind my MacBook, you can see the mirror that I use when I get ready when I'm not filming. It's just a light up mirror I got from Bath & Body Works, not Bath & Body Works, Bed Bath & Beyond. It has one side magnified and one side just regular, so I really like having the options and the light helps a lot. Moving on here, so this is where I keep all of my makeup. I'm not gonna go through all the Alex drawers because it's a lot of makeup and I could probably do a whole video on its own with just that. But just going into what I have like access to on my vanity. These are all of my setting sprays. This is all of my Bite Size Review sample products. These are all mascara empties that I'm saving for my mascara video. This whole set right here is my everyday makeup basket except for down here where I keep my Project Pan products. So powders, foundations, brow products, mascaras, concealers, and primers. And there's currently a trash truck outside, so we're gonna wait for that to pass. So moving over here to on top of the Alex drawer situation, I have a another, there's actually two acrylic sets here, the top portion and the bottom portion. I got both from Amazon, I'll link them down below. And this is where I keep a decent portion of my makeup collection and then behind it I also have some supplies. I need to clean this out because I've got some receipts in here but I try to keep catalogs, notebooks, an extra mirror, some scissors, uh, some pens in case I need them because this also doubles as my desk when I work from home so I try to keep any other supplies I might need here. I also have this emergency light. We've been dealing with a lot of winter storms and I'm in an area where we tend to lose power fairly quickly. So I just keep that emergency light like right where I know I can find it in case I ever need it. I keep a towel here. I love to have just a face towel just in case I need to clean anything up. Makeup can get fairly messy, especially on a white surface. Looking back, I don't know if I would have picked white, <laughs> but I like to just have a towel and I have three of the same towel. I just rotate them out and wash them as needed. So on the top right here, I keep a, a bunch of mini lipsticks and some of the Fenty lipsticks along with my little depotting slash cuticle tool. This drawer are some face sprays that I'm looking to get to next in my collection, both from Milani and then this one. That one is from Hard Candy. I keep all of my lip liners and lip scrubs in that drawer. Down here is my primer drawer and I keep all of my primers right there. Next up is lashes. Down here are all of my backup mascaras and loose eyeshadows or single eyeshadows that are single packaged. As you can see, I only have one mascara left. I'm doing a good job of working through my mascaras. <laughs> this one, not so much. These are all of my eyeliners, <laughs> pencil and brow products. There's quite a bit of product in there. Down here is my miscellaneous like nail drawer. I also have a concealer in here that wouldn't fit in the next drawer. But I have the nail polish I'm currently wearing is right there. I've got super glue in case I need it. I've got nail glue. I've got my top coat. I just... Uh, cuticle oil which is amazing it's helped so much cuticle oil is great so I, that's kind of miscellaneous like junk drawer <laughs> over here are all of my concealers I have to move these over these are the two foundations I'm wearing today I'm actually doing a side-by-side -side test on those this is my glitter drawer I have all my Stila glitter and glows I've got some glitter liners from Urban Decay I have some liquid shadows from Kylie I've got a got this glitter drops from cover effects that kind of just fit there and I've got some glitter liners from elf as well my last drawer is my super utilitarian drawer so I have my makeup wipes I always keep these on hand these are the Neutrogena ones I love them 
I keep a little container of q-tips because you never know when you might need to use a q-tip and then I keep my color switch so this is just what I use whenever I need to switch colors on my eyeshadow brushes so that's everything in that tower right there and then whenever I film I just bring the light a little bit closer like that because I sit right there just to have the light hitting me from all three points to do a quick swivel of my room from there, I have my bookshelf. It hasn't really changed much since my last tour video, but I keep some palettes. I keep all of my makeup sponges, some liquid lipsticks, everything all in that corner. I've got a bag from Sephora and a bag from MAC along with some cute little uh, twinkle lights. Over here is like my dresser. I keep all of my hair care products over here on the right. I keep some skincare. I keep some nice big palettes out on display over there. I have a couple of cute other things on display on the top portion and then everything else are like my clothes. This big blue kind of container is where I keep all of my backup products slash other beauty products that really aren't makeup so skincare hair care lotions perfumes everything is in there and then my books <laughs> i really wanted to do a close-up on this picture i got this picture from pier one a couple years ago and i just love it and i love masquerade masks i love these face masks so i always keep them on display i've got this black one i've got that white one and then i have this one that has a handle and it's got this beautiful like flower petal design on the edge i love them so if you were to turn from here you would see the background of my videos i've got this cute little setup down here this is the front window of the house so over here i keep jewelry and headbands and kind of like hair accessories down here i have a couple of books the bobby brown makeup manual and making faces by kevin aquan i have skull things because i love skulls i love that kind of stuff this is the clock my boyfriend got me for my birthday the first year we were together this is a music box slash snow globe that i bought myself because i loved it a nice eucalyptus candle a waving neko this is actually sun powered there's no sun today so if it actually gets sunlight it'll actually start waving at you a bag from blue mercury over here a cactus i'm trying my best not to kill and then the wand that I got for myself at Harry Potter World. Moving from here back to my background, you can see my bed and my other bookshelf and my alarm clock. My main light source over there. Going over to my nightstand where I just keep books and uh, medication and my water bottle and, you know, kind of boring stuff. And back over to my filming setup. So I hope you guys liked this kind of quick tour of everything, specifically my filming setup. I've gotten a couple of questions about how I film and how I've set everything up. And I'm really happy with the setup that I have now. And now that I have the desk in a spot where I can have these lights on the edge. And it, I think the quality of my videos has just gone up exponentially. So I'm about to go actually go film a video <laughs> right now. I thought this would be the perfect time to film this right before I actually go to film a video. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked this video. You guys would give it a thumbs up and let me know down below if you want to see another full makeup collection video i know i'm definitely going to do an eyeshadow palette collection video soon because i've gotten a lot more palettes and people seem to love those videos but let me know if you want to see like an overall thorough collection video thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye